Hello. In this video, we will understand SNMP. We are actually in the phase of enumeration, and in previous video, we had seen net bias information. So, SNMP is simple network management protocol, and from the name itself, you can understand that this manages something related to network. Precisely, it manages network devices. So, it manages network devices such as routers, switch, hub, or any other devices over the IP network and it uses UDP protocol well this is good right because UDP uses connection less we will not get any log anywhere uh, as we got in TCP TCP is a connection oriented that means it established the connection and then we can send the data so there is a fear that we gonna log to somewhere somehow our IP is going to uh, you know logged in the log system however in the UDP as it is connectionless we do not have to establish any connection there we can directly send any data we do not have any fear of uh, logging right so this SNMP it works on various operating systems such as Windows uh, Linux and Unix however in Windows precisely it used in Windows Server right and the reason is and the reason for Windows Server is it is meant to manage Windows Server is meant to manage such things uh, your normal Windows operating system are not used for that. It is used for educational or gaming or maybe for some other processes. But Windows Server is to manage such things like network or maybe servers and something like that, and databases. And therefore, that, that is the reason that mostly the operating system, the normal operating system, the SNMP services is disabled by default. However, if you are having Windows Server, then the SNMP services is already enabled, or maybe you have to enable it, but it can handle that thing, right? So we have to enable it. So, but before that, uh, before we enable the service, the SNMP, we need to understand that how this SNMP is actually working. So it has three entities. In the diagram, you can see here that uh, there is there is agent device, that means the actual device, router switch or a hub and that have MIB database and MIB, MIB is basically a database containing all description of your device it could be a value or could be the settings of that device um, so this MIB database is connected to something called as SNMP agent software they are communicating with each other and this SNMP um, uh, agent software is a kind of software that runs on the top of this managed device right this 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 device on the top of that this agent software is been running and it will convert the information uh, compatible to SNMP protocol by which he can understand the uh, the information otherwise if you send in like uh, uncompatible uh, like format then definitely the software not going to understand so the the precise work of this SNMP agent software is to convert the information into SNMP compatible format right and in the second phase we have network management system this is NMS and it will basically monitor the device that means this one so if he want to uh, if he wants something from this MIB database then he can directly contact the SNMP agent software which is this one same it will send the SNMP command that I want this it will request via internet to the agent or to the router or whatsoever device you are having and then uh, the agent software will directly communicate with the database whatsoever request this SN NMS had, has requested the response the MIB database will fetch uh, sent to SNMP agent software and uh, via internet it will send to the uh, SNMP manager agent software and then it will um, it will forward that response to the NMS in that way they are communicating so uh, while communicating they are using U UDP protocol as I told you so uh, uh, your UDP uh, if if this SNMP manager this is by the way SNMP manager this complete it's a management uh, system so if is using 161 port that means uh, your SNMP manager is communicating with someone and if uh, the request response is coming like 162 on port number 162 then SNMP agent that means this one they are communicating SNMP agent to SNMP agent
if this SNMP manager is communicating with someone, then they are they gonna use 161 port number. I hope you understand. So what enumeration you gonna do here? You will get a lot of information here. You will get user account, routing information, IP addresses, information about your network devices, uh, system names, uh, IP addresses, and task services. Now you see that device information is really really crucial here i mean you are getting a very uh, important information about your target so if your target is using hub so now you can have uh, information about the target hub there and you can use sniffing here because you know that um, uh, the the most vital device for sniffing is hub actually so now if you if, if you enumerate SNMP and you find that uh, your target system is using hub then you know that what you can do with that right uh, you can also find vulnerabilities on these devices by um, by using some other exploitation techniques but this is good right so uh, this is one thing you can do and uh, uh, so uh, first let's see how we can enable SNMP in Windows Server so I have uh, my virtual machine uh, there is Windows Server 2012. I have another system, uh, my Parrot operating system. Uh, so uh, what I have to do is we need to enable the uh, SNMP service here in Windows Server Tell. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to the control panel. Quickly go to the control panel here. You just need to get to the turn Windows feature on or off. You will you uh, will open server manager by the way and then it will uh, give you a pop-up here just uh, let's see okay so you will have a role based or feature based installation and i'm interested in that so uh, we are actually enabling a feature so that's why you're gonna select this one and then next and then this is basically a server which is this computer name basically the server name the next and then you need to find that service which you are which you are interested in so actually it is not here so go to the next and then I actually enable the service so you will see that here you can you see this SNMP service installed by the way it is installed in my PC but uh, you have to enable it like this like a tick mark I mean you need to check this and then go to the next so when you do the next it will install in your operating system okay so this is snmp service enabled now now one once this done what you need to do is you need to go to the services so you can directly write here services.msc it will open all the services uh, on your i mean the running services um, on your operating system so these are the running services you need to find uh, the SNMP service so you can find here uh, SNMP service can you see this I hope you can see this so this SNMP service do not click SNMP trap you need to click on SNMP service double click on it and then go to the security so there is one thing you need to provide here which is this community this is a community string well basically the, by, with the help of this community string uh, all these you know entities are communicating so you need to add one here uh, there there will be a blank uh, space here so you need to make it add and then give a community name so here i had given uh, give a public you can give any and then community rights is okay i mean read only so here this community string is actually a clear text okay so uh, with the help of this community string you can actually see what type of data is is moving from here to here i mean here to here so th with the help of this community string the data is passing right so this community string is actually clear text so anything is clear text in the network you can actually see it right so this is not a good idea one thing is we are using udp which is not good another thing is the community uh, string is clear text and this is another on the top of that it is uh, not good so two things are there so this is uh, okay i'm I'm gonna click on this OK button. Now SNMP service is running on this Windows server. And by the way, you can see here the IP address of this machine is ipconfig. You can see here that this is 192.168.117.139. And if you cannot see it, let me see that if I can use magnifier. Uh, my system is OK, OK. I mean, it's not that good. Uh, however, I'll, I'll show you that this is 
you can see here that it is 192.168.117.139 and let's see that how we can enumerate SNMP on this Windows server all right so you can just need to find that magnifier I just forget uh, the shortcut of this magnifier all right so I get back to the Debian system and here I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna zoom I'm sorry I need to zoom in uh, more time and you can see so uh, we have a special tool here in the Debian system uh, that is SNMP check so with the help of that SNMP I'm sorry, SNMP check SNMP check will check uh, all the uh, you know information about uh, the SNMP uh, from that Windows server so I'm gonna give the IP address of my uh, Windows Server 139 gonna give C for the community string and you know that I had given public as a community string so I'm gonna hit that public apologies and when I hit enter you will see that it's gonna connect to that one 192.168.117.139 and it will fetch a lot of information here you can see so from the very first you see that it gives me a host IP address which we already know and then it gives me the host name by the way it is the Windows server you can go to here and then uh, go go here and then uh, you can go to the this PC um, there is a shortcut for that as well but I do not know you can see here that it is a computer name 5QM BM 28UB F72 and it is the same here you can see and then it will give you the description of the um, the internal the microprocessor uh, what uh, system they are using by the way the hardware system so it uses Intel 64 family and all it is written here only so it fetched and it gives you uh, other things it gives me the user accounts as I told you that uh, there is one and then there is an administrator account so it fetched that out then uh, it gives you other information about the network so IP forwarding is not enabled currently if it is enabled then <laughs> other thing is that if it is enabled then you can do a lot of uh, more in enumeration here then we have a network interfaces by the way there are so many network interfaces but they all are virtual so um, you can see here but if any virtual uh, interface is enabled somehow you can find the MAC addresses the speed type uh, the transfer unit uh, and so many other information you can see here that some interfaces are enabled uh, I think this is my XP machine I, I hope um, you can see here these all are interfaces which is good right then it gives me the network IP currently it is a loopback address which is localhost and this is actual IP of Windows Server uh, then it gives me the routing information as well you can see here that they uh, they have a count here hoop count or a metric it's a routing information so from where to where basically it's a table uh, for routing so this is also good so you can see here that uh, where my packet is moving on by the way it is virtual right now but if it is live right if you are using host machine then you can find the real IP addresses which is good for me then we have a TCP connection on what website or what services currently I'm using for TCP and um, I can see here the local addresses and remote addresses with a port number which is good and you can see that it is listening currently currently uh, it is listening you will find some established state as well where you are communicating with some web pages or web addresses or any other TCP services you will find the IP address of that and the remote address that as well all right this is good for me other thing it will also fetch some UDP ports and you can see here that I find it out 161 as I told you that 161 is basically for what it is basically a UDP port here I told you that it is for SNMP managers it uses so uh, this is 000 is actually not given but it is a loopback address and 161 is for SNMP manager uh, the same ports that we had discovered uh, there is also one TCP service uh, SNMB, SMB service server message block of net bias is when enabled you can find 139 as well but it is not uh, enumerated but that's okay you will find uh, the IP address and uh, 139 port for the SNB these are network services uh, enabled in my Windows server this is good 
other thing it shows the all processes of Windows Server and this is actually the thing that we want right you can see here that these many services are actually running on Windows Server currently uh, then storage information a hard drive and uh, that thing and then file system information currently it is not uh, device information this is also good what devices you are using currently all these devices are virtual but if you are using any like adapter or maybe external adapter or maybe um, a storage adapter of a mobile or any other then it will fetch that out and it will show you here and that's good for me because I can find the vulnerability if you are using a vulnerable device then I can I can get to know and then I can use uh, that vulnerability into exploit and I can enter into your system. These are the software components which are there in your system. These are our Visual C++ which are uh, interesting or maybe not because we need to see the version number. And then we go for uh, the uh, vulnerability database and know, get to know that. Is it, uh, there is any uh, exploit available for that vulnerability or not. Uh, and this is IAS server information. Uh, currently, my IAS server is not enabled. I have not, uh, I mean, implemented. So that's why I do not have any information about that. But if you enable it, and but then you will get uh, some information about IAS as well. So this is your SNMP enumeration. I hope you like it and practice in it. You will find a very good result. This is virtual, but if you are in a real time, I mean, if you have a host operating system, of uh, Windows Server and if you are enumerating in the Debian, I mean the host operating system of Debian, then you can find a lot of information like real time. So I hope you like it. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next session.